Hey guys, now adding on to our project that we currently have, we just did the web view and we inserted it within the second tab here. But the big thing is, is we have no navigation. So let's say we're on our website, we go into the blog section and uh, you know we drill into maybe one of the blog posts here. But we have no way to actually go back within the website to go to the back to, to navigate backwards or refresh refresh the page or anything like that. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to add a little navigation um, for our web view because the web view doesn't come stand alone with a navigation bar and all that stuff. So jump into your project and the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to take this web view, we're going to grab it and we're going to adjust the size down. So if you grab the top bar, drag it down because we basically don't want our website to be behind our our bar or our toolbar or navigation bar that we're going to create here in a second. So go ahead and adjust that and then we're going to go over to the objects on the right and we're going to pull a toolbar and put it right on the top up here. Now you can see it comes standalone with one item and that's fine but uh, before we do anything with the toolbar we're going to readjust the web view to fill the entire portion that's available. So then we're going to take four buttons. One's going to be for like a refresh, maybe a stop, a, f a go back, and a go forward. So we're going to take those four items, throw them on there, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to assign the buttons to whatever we want them to do. So if you click on one button alone and you go to the attributes, you can look for the identifier here. And this is where they have some preset configurations here, so we don't have to do any hard programming quite yet. But uh, let's say the first thing that we want to do is have a refresh button. And you can see it already brings up a nice little icon for, uh, for the refresh. The second one that we're going to do is a possibly a stop, and we'll throw that in there. The next one is going to be a reverse or go backwards so we're gonna use rewind for that and then the last one is gonna be a forward so we're gonna use the fast forward there so right now all of our buttons are kind of squished together um, we're gonna go down and grab a flexible space bar item and drop it right in between the two and that's gonna separate the two so hopefully our users don't click one or, or four buttons at a time and uh, you know I could see myself doing that but uh, that gives a little, little bit better um, look and feel now the last thing that we have to do is we have to associate each button to our web view because right now the user can click the X or the stop and it's gonna do absolutely nothing to the web view so we have to assign it so how we're gonna do that is click again on the individual button hold control click and drag it to the web view and you can see we're sending an action because these buttons are already predefined um, they've already got assigned actions to them that we're gonna now hook up to our web view so the refresh is gonna be reload we're gonna go and do the same thing with the stop which is gonna be stop loading and then rewind which is gonna be go back fast forward with go forward all right, so you've got everything hooked up. Now we're going to run it, make sure it works here. All right, so then jump into your second view here. You can see the, the navigation bar is on top now. So we'll go into the tutorial section, which you can see loaded. And we're going to click refresh to load it again. Make sure that works. Go back. Looks like that's working. Forward works. And then we'll load something and then click stop. So it looks like we've got everything working. So that just gives your, your web view a little bit more functionality as we're developing this kind of profile app. But it's all it's just going to encompass a bunch of different aspects of the app development, basically from the ground up. So before you guys leave, click that like button, click the subscribe button so we can help you guys out and uh, keep moving forward with these tutorials. We'll catch you guys later.